Uh, my name's Jim. Uh, I'm here to talk about. I just want to demonstrate uh, my new VVT uh, X40 uh, dual channel uh, 40 watt tube head. It's a, a 6L6 powered uh, all tube head uh, with two channels, clean and dirty or overdrive, uh, each with its individual uh, master, so it's a dual master. Uh, the controls on it are presence. The level for the uh, gain channel, the actual gain, there's a middle, bass, treble, the master volume for the, or the main volume for the uh, clean channel, and then the clean gain. Uh, and we'll discuss that a little bit later, how that affects the overall amp. Down below there, you have uh, two, uh, two switches, one's for the uh, channel switching between overdrive and clean, and the other is a boost switch. It's really a mid-lift uh, and I'll also demonstrate that later on. Uh, right now I actually have on the back side it has a uh, obviously the uh, input uh, jack for the uh, channel switching which comes with a two button foot switch controlling the channel switching and the engaging of the uh, boost. Uh, it also has a passive effects loop which I have a few effects uh, running through there which one of them you actually heard I had a looper pedal in there, so I, I pre-recorded a couple of pieces so you could see how how the amp sounds in different uh, settings. It's got some clean parts on, it's got some uh, overdriven parts, so you kind of get a feel of how the amp sounds. Be aware that it's also running through, so what you're getting the playback is coming through the amp. Um, it also has uh, two uh, outputs for the speaker, a 4-ohm uh, tap and a 8-ohm tap, uh, and then obviously the power cord. Uh, Right now, I'm also using it with the uh, matching uh, 112 feel type uh, cabinet. The 12 inch, uh, it's got, it has a 12 inch Eminence Delta Pro PA speaker. It's a 400 watt PA speaker. Uh, it's super clean, so what you uh, put into it, you get out of. Going into the effects loop, uh, I have a Pictronics Quantum Chorus uh, type pedal, uh, which uh, goes into a T Rex replica delay pedal. And then finally goes into the uh, uh, T TC Electronic uh, Nova Reverb. I actually have the loop, the RC, uh, what is this, an RC20 uh, at the end, tail end of that. So it will, if I wanted to record, so I can show you what's what's being played back. But essentially, I have chorus, delay, and reverb in the effects loop. And on the front side, I have a full drive two that I sometimes use to uh, just push the. It, it's set up as a as a boost and not really as an overdrive. So all the overdrive is coming from either driving the, the amp itself or from the gain channel of it. Uh, we'll start out uh, showing you what the clean channel sounds like. Uh, no effects, no boost, just the clean channel. <laughs> shuffle through the uh, the different pickup settings. Uh, the guitar I'm using is a uh, 1993 PRS CE22. I figure a lot of guys have PRS's so this would be a good one to demo this amp with. Um, so I'm actually in the uh, bridge position. Going to the in-between. Basically, I've cycled through all the positions. Uh, it sounds really nice uh, when you're using different uh, delay time effects. But let me show you the uh, the mid boost. This actually actually adds quite a bit of gain, and you can actually use this to even overdrive the clean channel and do a little bit of uh, kind of uh, it gets a little dirty. You can see it's quite a bit of gain on there. Now, if I shift it between the different pickups, so it can actually add uh, a nice color to if you're doing something, you know, wanting to have that clean channel bark a little bit more. That's a great, uh, that's a great asset to have. Or if you're doing clean stuff and uh, doing. to, you know, so you get the idea that if uh, doing some sort of uh, uh, chicken picking or the uh, fingery stuff, a lot of country guys use, perfect for that. Uh, okay, now I'll go into uh, using it, uh, you can hear what it sounds like with a little reverb.
off the reverb. And a little chorus. Add a little reverb back to it. full drive sometimes in the front end to kind of give it this takes pedals in the front end pretty well also so just to show you um, here's the clean channel here's a clean channel with the full drive actually just set for a little bit of a clean boost so if I roll off in one of the other pickups it just gives a little more push in the in the sound if you wanted to really get crazy you'd hit the boost side of the uh, full drive so you can get it to bark a little bit okay so let's go over to the uh, the gain side now as I said earlier uh, there's a dual master each uh, the each channel has its own master volume however the clean gain does affect the overdrive. It's kind of like the cascading. It's like the first stage of the cascade. And here I'll, I'll demonstrate. So basically I have the, uh, the overdrive channel engaged. And as I, as I turn down the uh, input gain for the clean channel, you'll see how it affects the, gain cha the overdrive channel. So it kind of cascades the gain. So what I do is I usually set it about 1 o'clock. So it, it, it allows me to play the clean channel. Clean, if I play it a little bit softy, it's, it stays nice and kind of chimey and clean. But if I really dig into it, it, it'll bark a little bit. Okay, and now, actually, the, the gain channel for this particular setting I have set at 12 o'clock. So you can see there's plenty of gain. Twelve o'clock is kind of a nice in the middle. I can play rock if you really want to. I mean, if you really want to push it a little bit more, uh, you have the boost switch, which I will show you now. Uh, this is the uh, with the boost switch not engaged, and then I'll play it engaged. As you can see, uh, it actually barks quite a bit. So if I was doing a uh, kind of a rhythmic. Thing, then you want to go to a solo -y. Really, it's all the gain you'd really need is really done inside the amp. Uh, but I have the full drive here, and sometimes I'll, I'll use it just to make the 11 go to 11 and a half. Uh, I kind of call that, that boost switch kind of the 11 switch. Uh, obviously, uh, Spinal Tap reference. Uh, and then the full drive just kind of drives it beyond that a little bit. It's all for a clean boost. Um, so now I'll show you uh, what it sounds like uh, with uh, some uh, uh, effects in the effects loop again. Like I said it's a passive effects loop, so there's no uh, controls for send and receive. Um, but it seems to work really well with the three pedals I have here. So we use the reverb. <laughs> Nice chunky kind of a meaty sound, and obviously you can go through some and a little delay with that. So you get the idea how that goes. Well, now I can also show you with the full drive because sometimes you just want 11.5. Want to go to 12? Let's just hit the button. Now remember, I'm just here to. Ver I mean, I'm playing this and talking at the same time, so you understand the volume. I'm not. I'm using the uh, camera microphone, uh, so you hear what's in the room. You get in the room and everything else. So this is the uh, the pedal. It's uh, this is just the amp itself. Uh, so you get an idea. One, the size of it. It's a great little uh, kind of a working man's 
covers all the bases mostly. I, I can't think of anything it wouldn't really be able to do uh, for uh, you know in a very very small package. Uh, the head is uh, super light. You can see right there and pick it up one hand. Extended. It's not very heavy. Uh, the cabinet's got a little weight to it because it's got a 400 watt, uh, basically PA speaker in it, and it's a uh, Thiel cabinet, so it's got some internal uh, uh, porting and stuff. But it's a great little uh, little uh, little rig to be able to take out and play, and, and just about and it mics up fantastic. But I just wanted you to hear what it sounds like in the room. Uh, just about everything you play through, it sounds pretty cool. Got a little chorus to it if you want that 80s kind of. X40. Uh, it's a great amp. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Um, yeah, any guys looking for uh, something uh, small, compact, but covers all the bases, it's pretty hard to beat this amp. Uh, made by VVT. <laughs>